Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Corinne. And in this video, I'll be sharing how I combat fungus gnats in my lettuce grow farm stand. In my last video, I shared adding a tier to my farm stand. I went from 24 plants to 30 plants. I love my farm stand. I love growing vegetables and sharing with my kids how they grow, adding in nutrients and just watching everything go from little seedlings to edible vegetables. But in the last shipment of seedlings, it turns out, I guess my seedlings must have had some fungus gnat eggs or larva, and now I have fungus gnats. My seedling delivery before that also seemed to have fungus gnats, uh, larva in them. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I combat that. It takes both uh, controlling the egg and larva population as well as the adult population. And as I'm talking, I have one flying around my head right now. So and there's one thing that I don't like about growing indoors, it's pests. Luckily, they're pretty easy to get rid of, so I will share with you guys how I get rid of mine. It takes about a week or two to fully see them gone, but if you keep up with it, it's pretty simple. I should have done this when they first came in. It just, I was so excited adding the tier to my farm stand. I just didn't even pay attention. I just popped them in there. So um, if I do order seedlings from Lettuce Grow again, I will be doing this when they first come in. And I'll show you guys what I mean. For the future though, I do think I'm gonna start growing my own seedlings at home. I bought a special tray, um, a heating mat. My seeds are supposed to come in the mail so I can start those, but I don't wanna start those until I take care of my fungus gnat problem here. And I'll show you guys the fungus gnat problem that I have. My cilantro just, I'll get to that, it died. but. I have fungus gnats. We're gonna take care of those though, and I'll show you guys how I take care of those. Let's get rid of these guys. So I'm gonna use some food grade hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna link this in the description below along with some of my Lettuce Grow Farm Stand Amazon favorites and accessories. But this is 3%, and I have one of my kids' toddler cups. So these are about five inches or so tall. I'm gonna fill it up about halfway and then fill the rest of the way up with water. So now this is 50% water, 50%, 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to submerge the seedlings into the solution for about a minute. All right, when I do this, I'm going to remove the seedling and then pop in a little golf ball and an empty pod just to block the water so no gnats can get in there. Okay, here's a jalapeno seedling. So when you do this, it's supposed to kill the eggs and larva. I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid here. And I just let that sit for about a minute. Making sure that I don't get any uh, foliage. So any of these leaves here shouldn't be submerged. I just kind of let it bubble for a couple minutes, or not a couple minutes. I just kind of let it bubble for a minute and then I take the seedling back out and put it back into my farm stand. And I'll repeat this process with all 30 seedlings, just to be sure. I totally have some blossoming peppers here. Yay! Those flowers are gonna be peppers, lunchbox peppers.
much better Balconies and bathtubs What you want Why don't we just get a place together All right, so I've done the bottom two layers. I'm gonna move up to the upper three and just continue going until I've done all 30 ceilings. So we're about halfway through the um, soaking process for my seedlings and the water looks like this. So I'm going to change it out for some fresh hydrogen peroxide diluted with water. Also this little chain in here just belongs to an uh, extra tea strainer that I have that I use to put um, mosquito bits in for the tank. I just put this in here so when I put the seedlings in it's not like the entire thing sinks to the bottom of the cup. So it just is like a stepping stool I guess to and then I can also kind of fish the ceiling cup out if I can't quite grip the sides of it with my gloves on. You don't have to do any of this. So here's one of my strawberry plants. I'm starting to get a flower here. Well, I've already got a flower here, so I'm going to have some strawberries here soon. This is so exciting. But um, I just want to show you guys these little black dots here on the edge, the little rim of the plant cup, is from Fly Nats. That's their... Uh, their poop essentially. So they have been hanging out on my strawberry plants, on my herbs, and leaving um, excrement. I'm trying to show you guys if my camera will uh, focus for you. Okay, there it is. If you guys can see those little black dots. Yeah, we need to take care of this uh, fungus gnat problem. So if you're seeing those black dots, that's from fly poop, fungus gnat poop. You need to do this. While my thyme is soaking for about 30 seconds in the hydrogen peroxide water solution, I just want to show you guys the amount of excrement on the side of the plant cup. So this is definitely one of the pods that they are laying their eggs in. We're going to dunk this in for about 30 seconds and kill off whatever is in here. So here's the tea strainer that I had in there and I replace this once a week but since I'm doing this right now I'm just going to go ahead and replace this but these are mosquito bits. They help control mosquito larva and also fungus net larva which is what we have right now. So these are mosquito bits and to do this I just take about a teaspoon so I put about a teaspoon of mosquito bits into this little tea strainer close it up and then I hook it onto the power cord of the light cable making sure that I don't puncture it this is um, this can be stretched out so it fits snug on there and won't fall in Status quo. 
So it's only been a couple minutes since I put in these new um, fly traps and they've already caught four little gnats. They like to just rest up here. So these really do work. I need to take care of my cilantro, side note. But yeah, definitely order these. I'm gonna link these in the description below for you. I like these because they look, um, they look like little butterflies and flowers. They don't stick out like a sore thumb, I don't think. They just kind of look like they belong there. They still look really pretty. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope this helped you guys learn how to combat some fungus gnats. Um, you definitely want to control the egg and larva population and the adult population all together. And uh, keep the mosquito bits in a tea strainer in your farm stand at all times. Change them out once a week. Subscribe for more Lettuce Girl Farm Stand updates. I do weekly updates every Thursday I upload, so I would love to have you guys here. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to use my link in the description below to save yourself $50 on your own farm stand. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.